In this lesson, you will learn how to find solutions to a linear equation in two variables. Linear equations in two variables have infinitely many solutions. For every value chosen for x, there is a corresponding value for y. This pair of values is represented as an ordered pair x, y. To find a solution to a linear equation, first, choose a value for one variable. Then, substitute it into the equation and solve for the other variable. Finally, write the solution as an ordered pair. Let's see how this works with our examples. When y is by itself on one side of the equation, as in this example, it is usually easier to choose values for x and then solve for y. Since we are finding three solutions, let's pick three values for x. Let's choose x equals negative 1, 0, and 2. You can also pick other values for x, but it is best to choose those that make the calculations easier. Now, substitute each of these x values into the equation and solve for y. First, we have x equals negative 1. So, substitute negative 1 for x and solve for y. Negative 5 times negative 1 is 5. 5 plus 2 equals 7. So, when x equals negative 1, y equals 7. Therefore, the ordered pair negative 1, 7 is one solution to the equation. Next, we have x equals 0. So, substitute 0 for x and solve for y. Simplifying this, we find that y equals 2, right? So, when x equals 0, y equals 2. Therefore, 0, 2 is another solution. Next, we have x equals 2. So, substitute 2 for x and solve for y. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. Negative 10 plus 2 equals negative 8, right? So, when x equals 2, y equals negative 8. Therefore, 2, negative 8 is another solution. So, we have found three solutions to the equation. But remember, these are just a few solutions. A linear equation in two variables has infinitely many solutions. You can find more solutions by substituting any value for x or y and solving for the other variable to get another ordered pair. When both x and y are on the same side of the equation, as in this example, it is usually easier to find one solution when x equals 0 and another when y equals 0. So, let's pick x equals 0 and y equals 0. To find a third solution, let's choose x equals 1. Now, substitute each of these chosen values for the corresponding variable in the equation and solve for the other variable. First, we have x equals 0. So, substitute 0 for x and solve for y. 3 times 0 is 0. Then, divide both sides by 4. These cancel out, and 12 divided by 4 equals 3. So, when x equals 0, y equals 3. Therefore, 0, 3 is one solution to the equation. Next, we have y equals 0. So, substitute 0 for y and solve for x. 4 times 0 is 0. Then, if we divide both sides by 3, we find that x equals 4. So, when y equals 0, x equals 4. Therefore, 4, 0 is another solution to the equation. Next, we have x equals 1. So, substitute 1 for x and solve for y. 3 times 1 is 3. Then, subtract 3 from both sides. These cancel out, and 12 minus 3 equals 9. Now, if you divide both sides by 4, you find that y equals 9 fourths. So, when x equals 1, y equals 9 fourths. Therefore, 1, 9 fourths is another solution to the equation. And that's how you find solutions to a linear equation in two variables. Thanks for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.